Ooh, my goodness, you have no Whoa, ugh. Ugh. That was disgusting. I know they fell into oblivion. The self felt the change were to come. The changes that were to come. Time passes. And in the remembrance desert, the writer once again wrote remarkable stories. Stories of freedom. Long Hat House developer. Long. Hold up, give me a second. Long hat. All right. Okay, that those are the developers. Raw Fury. Game Design and Development, John O. Brandt, Lucas, and Matto, Matos, Music and SFX. <sighs> okay, so to sum up how I beat the boss, okay, so you know like that skull power with the beam and whatever, the yellow beam and whatever? So basically I would just plant those beside me, break the shells and let the beam do its thing and also help do damage and just circle around them. And basically just do that until I tell it beat him. It was hard because it also helps too because of the skulls or the yellow heads or whatever they'll float. The beans will take out like the right side of the of the circle. All you have to do is just go around left and just repeat. Shoot the yellow beam, like break the shell, shoot the yellow beam, let it hit them, and then shoot the, the inner shell if you could. Then, you know, rinse and repeat. User interface, platform integration, published, participants, testers, the T Wolf. <laughs> Oh, these are all the testers. That's a Zorder. Connor Jack. Special thanks to family and friends. Stun Gun 2017. And you. Aww. Salt Resolution. Let's see. Let's see how bad that I how bad I did. Huh. Sixty I got sixty five percent of chests and I only explored ninety seven percent. I'm almost done with it. I'm guessing that's hours, minutes, and seconds, right? Seven hours? Seven and a half hours? Or not, yeah, seven, ha seven and a half hours? Wow. Damn. <laughs> well, that was fun. Um, not, I guess this is where I do my little um, review, I guess. It, you don't have to listen to it. You guys can end the video if you want to hear what I have to say, then that's fine. You can stick around. That I I would appreciate that. But anywho, so this game, this game, this game's fun. It's not bad for like 15 bucks on PSN. I think I got it for like 15 or 14 dollars on on uh, on a uh, PSN. Um, well, PlayStation Network because I have a PS4. Um, but the game's not bad. It's hard for me because I'm not a platformer. <laughs> I'm not good at platforming. But nonetheless, this, this game was fun. I was really surprised at how well this game is designed based on how many people that are that have participated. Because it's still a fun game. It's really fun. It's short. I, well, obviously, I beat it in like in seven hours. But this, those seven hours were spreaded. I didn't, I didn't put seven hours in, in, in one day. No, 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 no. I just continually did like a few hours in. So it would probably be like what three hours a day like three six and then this hour and a half that i'm probably doing today 
to finish up the game. So the game's not bad. It's not bad for 15 bucks. Definitely one of those like, uh, this is definitely one of the games I would recommend playing if you guys are interested. So, cause I love the design. I love the pixelated thing. Um, I like her powers. Her powers are really cool. I like the bosses. The bosses were just unique. Except for the first one. He was more like an Andross kind of deal with just hands and a head. So, but still, it's not a bad reference. It's not a bad uh, idea. Um, what I didn't like is how I couldn't just walk across. I had to jump from A to B, A to B, you know, to progress. But, I mean, that's that's the mechanic of the game. That's just the game in it in its whole. So, I, personally, I don't I don't mind it. I really don't mind it. Um, the powers, the powers are pretty cool. Man, but that skull. I hated that getting that skull where it was like a blessing in disguise. It was like a bittersweet. It, it, the skull thing will help you out if you know what you were doing. Um, but let's see. The level design. Level, the, let's see. The enemies were pretty cool too. They were all, in each stage, they were different. None of them were, none of, none of them were the same. At least the ones that were, um, at least not the ones that were um, had a unique design to them, like the triangle thing. Like those are those were pretty new. Uh, the muscle guys were just a funny like add-on, like because they were just they were just there. They're like, "There's a her. I'm here. I'm about to wreck your life." Um, let's see what else. The characters in the first stage were pretty unique too, like. There was like that big, I think, big girl. Then there was like the music dude. Then there was the the guy who gave you the missile. Then yeah, it was weird that we didn't get to see more of characters like that later in the stages, except for the writer. The writer dude was in the desert, but that was just it. There was there weren't any. I don't think there were any other characters out there. Uh, let's see, the game is challenging. Oh my god. Well, at least it was challenging for me. Definitely was still fun though. Um, and yeah, I don't think there was anything else. The final boss was pretty interesting. <laughs> Big old flat screen, and then became the inner, inner part. But yeah, let uh, let me know what you guys think about the game or whatever about the game in general. I don't really, I don't really mind. I would like to hear what you guys have to say or what you guys thought about it, you know. Um, but yeah, just let me know in the comments below. I'll read them and I'll get back to you. And yeah, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for sticking around through the endeavors. And thank you. And thank you, uh, Long Hat House and Raw Fury for making this game and letting us play it. It's, uh, it's good. Thanks for doing a good job. Uh, until then, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.